Hello again, YouTube. Hunter Rogue here. Back with another Minecraft Redstone contraption. This one quite a bit crazier than my last one. As you can see, there's a lot more redstone at use here. Visualizing yourself, Hunter, what is this thing? It's a giant redstone ticker display. What it does is I can input three letters and they will display across these redstone repeaters, like a ticker marquee you would see at movie theaters, or a similar place. How does it work? Well, here are all the inputs. You like, draw a character on here with the switches. That's how you input it into the memory. That clears the memory, which you should probably do, I mean, kind of, just in case. This is which memory cell it goes into. You have three, so I can only do three characters. So, I'm going to do a yay across the screen for you. I originally saw something like this on uh, my channel subscription, YouTube, uh, <coughs> Captain Sparkles. He posted a video of something like this he saw on an online multiplayer server, which I found pretty amazing. And I just recently decided, huh, I wonder if I can make that myself. So I decided to rack my brain a bit and figure out if I could. And I was able to make a lot le it's not nearly as nice or pretty or rather as complicated as the other one. But I did it. So push this button that inputs the character into the two memory cells. And put the A in. I also messed up here and there, like for example here, I messed up the wiring so I have to draw the character backwards to get a proper, get it to look right on the ticker tape. So input that character. Just flipping these off. Really don't need to, just have it. So here we go, we can put hit play. And probably won't show up as nicely because it's daytime, but there you can see the Y, the A, and the other Y. So it makes yay as it ticks across. Yep, there's my bed. It's raining earlier. I was trying to see if I couldn't skip over the rain. So, I bet you're wondering how this works. Uh, it's kind of complicated, actually. As you can see, there's a lot of redstone at use here. Let me tell you, on a project like this, Invenedit and MC Edit are your friend. I cannot stress that enough. But yeah, so basically here we have these nine AND gates, which are basically a part of a part of the game that makes it so when both these torches aren't lit, aka receiving power, this torch gives off power. So it lets you have Say, let's you, if you want to have two switches to open a door, that's what you'd use one of these for. And, yeah. There are nine of these. One of them is hooked up to the switchboard. The other input is from the character input button. I'll watch as I run these towards you to the... <coughs> these all run to the wiring, which hooks up to what I call the hard drive. Hard drive saves the three characters into what I what are called flip-flops, or RS latches, I believe they're also called. I call them flip-flops. See here, another nine AND gates. One of the inputs is from the character screen, the character input over there. The other input is the memory cell input, as you saw me flipping those switches over there. Which ones get input? Blah, blah, blah. Basically, I did a little bit of research. Each one of these RS flops, flip-flop thingies, are one bit of memory. There are eight bits of memory to a byte, and about, I believe it's about 1,500 bytes to a megabyte. So that should actually show you how tiny of this hard drive actually is. I say that in quotation marks. So, as you see here, all the... Bits, ow. 
Don't know why. I always say ow when I take fall damage in this game. All the memory goes down here to these even more AND gates. These are hooked up to the memory screen. Which one input is from the memory from the hard drive, the other input is from the a signal from the basically from the play button. Which the play button triggers this contraption, which gets the timing right for the to for to tick across the display. First of all, you have this flip flop which opens and sends it to this repeater set to full delay, which so it that and then after that's done it puts the flip flop back to off. This lets me get the timing perfectly for the display, even though it's a little glitchy. So oh perfect, it's turning night, which will let me let you see the display better. Ugh, excuse me. Lunch is talking back to me. So uh -huh, hit the display button again. You can see much clearer now. Yay. Well, it's clear as the three pixel by three pixel letters show up on this thing. Not quite perfect. But it works. So yeah, that's that. It's probably spent probably around eight hours on it. I could spend a lot more time if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to. But probably play around with it a little bit more. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.